so today we're going to be looking at how to start playing Neo Warfare X. So right as soon as you open the game, you're going to see five different options over here. You're going to see Alpha, Bravo, Falklands, Pre-Alpha, and Legacy. These are the different maps that you can play. Um, for today, we're just going to be playing on Bravo. Once you click that, you'll see a server that you can join. Press join. It'll take a minute to load. But um, you'll see this loading screen over here. It'll tell you the map that you're going to be loading in on. Once you get to a menu that looks like this, you're going to want to click Free Flight. Once you click Free Flight, you'll be given a set of different options for different types of vehicles you can use. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using aircraft. You can select any type of aircraft. Uh, right now, we're going to be selecting fighters. From fighters, you can go to a list of countries. Uh, for today, we'll be using the US. Um, today's example, we'll use the F-86 Sabre, pretty early Cold War jet. To attach um, missiles, you just, or anything else really, you just click these little orange diamonds over here, and you click whatever missile or bomb or drop tank you want to put on it. So we'll be putting two Sidewinder missiles and two drop tanks on it. If you want to save the loadout for later, you can hit save loadout over here and enter a name. Call this one Sidewinder. After you're, you've got your plane in order, you, you'll hit deployment. Then you've got three options, civilian, airbase, or carrier. These will give you different options of places to take your plane off from. We'll go with um, we'll go with Cornell Airstrip over here. Then you're going to want to hit Set Spawn. Now once you hit Set Spawn, this little red thing with a uh, yellow pole sticking out of it will be somewhere on your screen. You're going to want to drag that to wherever you want to take off from. And then you're going to want to left click and set that down. Uh, if you want to set a different spawn, you can press the sp Set Spawn button again put it somewhere else. You can put it here, or there, or anywhere. But once you set the spawn somewhere, you can deploy. And when you deploy, you get set down over here. Once you're set down, you press E. Ignore the plane that's taking off on top of me right now. Uh, you press E to start your engines. After a couple seconds, it'll have spooled up, so you can press W to increase the, th the throttle. You can use A and D to move around while you're on the ground. Once you're taking off, you use U, H, J, and K to maneuver yourself around. If you want to steer with your mouse, you press the 3 button. If you want to put your gear up, press the G button. If you want to go back to that other view before, you can just press 1. The different numbers usually just change the view of your plane. 3 is probably the easiest to dogfight with. Uh, if you want to turn on combat mode and actually start dogfighting, you can press 0. That'll turn on combat mode. If you want to select a target, you're going to press the left control button. Now, now that you've got a target selected, you're going to, if you want to fire a missile, you press X, like that. You can shoot down planes. That one launched flares, you launch flares with Q. Now with flares you can decoy missiles if someone's shooting a missile at you. That's, they're pretty good for that. Uh, if you don't have any missiles or you don't want to use missiles, you can also use guns. That's the V button. Obviously you have to be aiming at the right target to use your missiles successfully. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 